What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here. Welcome back to the channel. For those who most of you probably know by now or you may not know that GT5 hit us with another update this morning uh, changing the version of the game. Now this video is going to be for Steam and Epic users. Now keep in mind I have not installed my LSP4 back into this PC yet so we're going to do it this way. This is how we're going to do it. Now if you have your um, if you have your game backed up through Rage and you need to revert then I will link my video here, uh, taking you to my video showing you how to revert your game. Um, it's the previous one that I done. I also did a video last week showing you how to back up your game for future updates. We did not know this update was coming, just like we didn't know the last one was coming, okay? So if you need those videos, guys, um, if you need the video for reverting your game, I will link it here in the video, and you can go watch that. Now, it's going to be the same process. The, the, the reverting and everything is always the same. It's done the same way. The only thing that changes are the version numbers. That's it. So you can go back to that revert video and just use the files you have and revert your game as I show you in the video. Now, with that being said, for Steam and Epic users, if you pull up your directories, let me get mine moved over here a little bit. If you pull up your directories, you're going to see, if you highlight the gt5.exe, we are now going to be on version 2628.2. That is my Epic Game directory here on Steam. It's the same exact thing, okay? If I can get it to highlight. Come on. Okay, there it is, 2628.2. Now, my game is initially going to fire up because, as you can see, I have zero mods in my files. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into my folder here, and I'm going to grab a couple of mods... And I'm going to install them into my uh, main game directory. So I'm going to grab my trainer. And I'm going to grab my script hook V for 2612. Okay, I'm going to pull them out. And this is just to work with you guys uh, so that we can work together. Okay, because I don't have any mods. So my game's obviously going to fire up because I'm on the newest updated version. And I have zero mods. Now I'm going to take my script hook. You guys don't have to do this. I'm going to take my script hook for 2612. And I'm going to install it into the main directory of my, my Steam uh, version, just like this. And I'm also going to pull up my Epics version and do the same exact thing, okay? So I'm going to pull this over, grab those two files again, pull them in, and I'm going to drop them, all right? Now that we have that in there, okay? I'm going to close this. I'm also going to open up my trainer, all right? I'm going to grab my two trainers here. The files, I'm going to drag in my Epic's game version. Again, you guys do not have to do this. I'm just dropping them in so I have a couple of mods installed so I can show you guys uh, exactly what we're doing. Uh, let me pull up my Steam version and do that to that one as well. All right. And they're installed. There we go. Now let me close out of that and grab these and pull them over into the recycle bin. Let me lift that up. Now, since I have the version... 2628.2 in my game directory, the most recently up-to-date version, which is the, the, the version that I updated this morning uh, in both Steam and Epics. Uh, my Simple Trainer and my uh, Script Hook V is not going to be compatible with that version because Script Hook V is the one I have in these directories is from 2612. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close my directories, okay, and I am going to... Um, I'm going to go to my Steam here, and I'm going to fire up my GT5 for my Steam, okay? Uh, so let me pull this. Uh, let me get my GT5 game pulled up. Let me click play. All right, and it is going to do a first-time initial setup because it is, uh, it's an updated version. So I do want to make this very clear. Anybody who's on who has bought the game through Rockstar, um, there's no way for you to revert. I mean, you can back your game up through Rage, but unfortunately, every time you go to fire up the game, it's going to um, it's going to uh, just update it again. So Rockstar users, you're just out of luck, and I'm sorry for that, but you're just going to have to wait until LSPFR script hook V and Rage plugin hook updates, and we don't know when that's going to be, so please don't ask those questions. Also, another note to remember, guys. Um, okay, so we got this error right here. Um, we do not want to check the download page. I'm going to close out, all right? 
And it's going to do the same exact thing on Epics, okay? So I'm not even going to take time to fire that up. But here's what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to open up my Steam directory again. I do want to make another note in my Epics as well um, that all of my support channels have been shut down in my Discord. Therefore, if you go to the Discord asking for support, you're not going to get it, okay? Because we have to shut, we had to shut the channels down because we had a tremendous amount of people coming in last time asking when Script Hook V was going to update, when LSPVR was going to update, and Rage Plug and Hook, and people coming in with, uh, you know, their game not working and the, come to find out they didn't back up their game version. So to avoid all that, we're just going to, we just shut down the channels. That's why we had to do it. So one person or a few people, a handful of people, always ruins it for everybody else. That's just how it is. Um, so um, what we're going to do here, okay? Now, in the video I did last week, I showed you guys how to back up your files in your Steam directory as well as your Epic. So in Epics, you should have these two files backed up. Now, if for some reason that you do not have these files backed up, just keep in mind, if you have and only if you have multiple copies of GT5, you could do this trick, okay? Go to your file explorer for Steam. We'll do Steam first. Go to the hard drive in which you installed your GT5, okay? Then we're going to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common. And then right here is the one, is the only one that updates, okay? The one that says Grant that Auto 5 is the only one that updates. If you have multiple copies that are named someone, something else, if you click on the other copy and you highlight that EXE, you're going to see it's on version 2612, right? So it's not updated. So what you could do is if you didn't pull those files out last time, you can grab them from this other copy just like this and copy them to a folder or you can copy them to another drive. Uh, just keep in mind, if you pull these to your desktop and it says move the desktop, do not pull them out. Okay, do not drop them. You need to put it back in your directory. If you pull them out and it says copy, you're safe to drop them. But if you pull them out and it says move the desktop, you're going to you're going to end up pulling those files out of your directory and it's going to mess up your game. Okay, so in that case, when you pull them out, if it says move the desktop, you need to put them into a different drive. Okay, so here's what we want to do. Um, I showed in the video last week, as I was saying, Epic users, you can do the same thing. You can go to your file explorer. You can go to the hard drive in which you installed your GT5, go to Epic Games, and the only one that's updated is the one that says GT5. If you go to your copy and open it up and highlight that EXE, it is down to 2612. You can highlight the EXE and the Play GT5 and put these somewhere, okay, in a different drive or on your desktop. Again, if you pull them out to your desktop and it says move the desktop, do not drop them. Put them in a different drive. But if you pull them out and it says copy, you can drop them, okay? Now, with that out of the way and with that being said, um, you can use those files for what we're about to do right now, okay? So, we are currently in the most recently up-to-date version of GTA 5. Let me close out of this and let me get my Steam directory pulled back up. So, if we highlight our EXE in Steam, it's 2628.2. The one in Epics is also 26. 28.2 okay now remember guys i dropped my trainer in there i also dropped my script hook v from version 2612 okay that means the current version gt5 is not going to be compatible with that script hook as you guys just seen while ago okay so here's what we want to do let me minimize my epics directory epics hang tight i'll get to you um steam users if you had those files backed up or if you just pulled them out of one of your copies uh, you can open up your your backups just like this, and you're going to want to grab these just the four. If you have this little thing right here, don't grab that, okay? You just want the four green GTA 5 files with the banner, okay? The green V. You grab those, pull them. Now, if I show you guys something here real quick, and we highlight this, this right here is for version 2612.1. If we grab these, all four of those files, and pull them into our Steam directory just like this and drop them and then replace them. It's now going to revert your game back to 2612. And I will show you, see? Right there, 2612.1. All right. Steam, I'll get back to you in just a minute. Let me refresh that and minimize my Steam directory and pull back up my epics. Okay. Pull up my epics. Now, I'm going to close out of this. Epic users, same exact thing. If you had your files backed up, okay, or if you had to pull them from a copy, open up your backups. That's for Steam, my bad. Open up your backups. You should have two files, 
the GT5 and play GT5. You're going to grab these, pull them into your main directory just like this, and you are just simply going to drop them in and replace the files, okay? And you will now see that this is version 2612.1. There it is. Now, let's go ahead and try and fire up the game, all right? Let's go ahead and do that. So, for Steam users, uh, let me close this right here. For Steam users, um, let's go to, um, I hope that was the main one I did that on. Let me double check that real quick, guys. Let me double check that. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay, so, um, my little girl is singing. So, for Steam users, let's go ahead. I'm going to launch my Steam. I'm going to go to GTA 5. And I'm going to click on play GT5, okay? So play. All right, GT5 is now running. There it goes, connecting to Rockstar Services. And once it fires up, I'll just, you know, if it fires up, um, which it should, once it fires up, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to quit the game. Well, if you get this one, the guys just click no. All right, guys, as you can see, there goes the game right there. There it is. There's Steam version of GT5 right there. There it goes. It is firing up. Let's go ahead and cut the game there. And then I'm going to cut video here, guys, and get over to Steam. All right, guys. I know I said uh, Steam, but I meant to actually say let's get over to Epic. That's what I meant to say. So, guys, uh, Epic users, open up your Epic Game Launcher. And let's click on our Grand Theft Auto Five to play. You're going to get this one. You're going to click yes. And let's let the game fire up here. As you guys can see, Steam version, Steam guy, uh, Steam users, you're done. Uh, you're good to go. As you guys can see, the game fired up. Um, but again, if you're using Rage Plugin Hook, you need to watch my revert video. Go back and watch the revert video that I linked, okay? And then come back and watch this. All right, guys. So there is the Epic Game version of GT5. It's all loaded. Now, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click off so you never miss any future content or live streams. Again, guys and girls, we do not know when Script Hook VLS before on Rage Plugin Hook will update. We do not know the answers to those questions, so please don't ask. Um, again, all six sports, all six support channels in my Discord are shut down uh, until everything is updated um, due to uh, the past where people have come in. Uh, flooding the support channels with when script took V gonna update, when's LSP are gonna update, when's Rage Plugin Hook is gonna update. No matter how many times I've said it, my support team has said it, that Discord is very big. So it's had to have gotten to someone. You guys watch my videos and you hear me say it. You hear me say, we don't know when they're gonna update. So why do you ask? We don't know. Don't ask. And please, do not leave your troubleshooting issues in my comment section. If you didn't back up your game and didn't follow the substance video, there is nothing we can do for you. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, God bless, take care, stay in prayer, love one another, and peace out.